Welcome, welcome, boys. Okay, in this video, we're going to be doing an oil change on this beast, the 024 Crown Vic P71. I've already got her up on the ramps. I got her on the short ramps. I didn't feel like getting two by fours to get her on the higher ones, so that should be enough clearance, but I'll have to get some cardboard and lay it down so I'm not poking myself on all that hard gravel. But we're already up. Here is the oil cap. So we'll go ahead and take it off because you want air to be able to come in and replace the oil that we take out. So once we start draining, the air can go in. It's going to be a nice smoother drain. And if we climb underneath, uh, drain plug right there. And this piece of the frame, 16 millimeter. There's our oil filter, so we'll crack that open to let her drain, get this oil filter off, and then I reckon we're going to have to do some engine degreasing and pressure washing here because we have a lot of caked on oil all over the place, and that is nasty on the back of the engine. It's all oil, so that's... Ah, it's gonna have to get washed off. We'll be doing valve cover soon, I reckon. Next oil change. And there's our nasty black oil coming out. So let that drain. And we'll get that filter off. Uh, okay, so we run into a problem. So, per Walmart's stupid computer, oh, get the PH2 Fram Extra Guard. That's what you need for the P71. Okay, note this thing's size. Now, I may be wrong, this may fit on here anyway, but this big thing fits in this big thing. And this little thing fits on that little thing. Okay, I might stand corrected on that. So, it's pH 2, though it is fucking huge. I mean, if you look at it, you see, get out of here. I mean, the mating surface part does line up. So, although it's an optical illusion from the outside, from the inside, that little filter, I mean, I think it might thread on, actually. So, that's fine, then. If there's enough room to get this big, huge behemoth in there, then great. We just have extra filtration, and I'm perfectly fine with that. But, this Valvoline VO88... Uh, does fit And we'll see if this guy fits another interesting uh, problem. We're gonna have it. It looks like whoever did the oil change last I'm guessing Valvoline Possibly Walmart. There's a sticker on the window. I just don't remember whose name's on it. They stripped out the freaking Stripped out the damn drain plug here, so I'm gonna have to reuse it if it'll thread in there and torque down, but I need to Document this for myself that I need to replace this drain plug for the next oil change because this thing doesn't have a hell, hell of a lot of life left in it. Because somebody over torques things, because apparently oil change places can't invest in a torque wrench. and never heard of torque specs, but you know, whatever. That's their problem, I guess. It's my problem right now, but it's everybody else's problem in the world who takes their damn car to these places and lets them service it. All right, moving on. Okay, so the Fram PH2 does in fact fit. It is a very tight fit, but assuming your wheels are straight, you'll be able to slide it up between these oil lines and the pitman arm up, and then just kind of go right in with it. Don't forget to lube your new O-ring with some fresh oil, old thin film before you thread it on, and make sure you're wearing gloves or something because this guy's going to poke you. This, uh hose clamp. It's going to jab into your thumbs while you're trying to thread that thing on there, so be weary of that. Don't hurt yourself. And only tighten by hand. Do not use any of those tools to torque that on, or you're going to have a bad time trying to get it off in the future, so just don't do it. Just like Nike says. Oh wait, that's... Just, never mind. Alright, so now that we got that, we can attempt to put our drain plug back on. Hopefully it'll torque down. If so, fill her back up. Uh, the manual says it takes 
5 quarts of 5W20. Didn't specify synthetic or conventional, so I bought some what I believe to be conventional here. And that's because normally I roll synthetic and everything, so I don't have to change it but once a year. But because we have bad, bad valve cover gaskets, it seems, we have oil leaks underneath. We're going to go ahead and clean that engine up, monitor it, and then uh, if we confirm that it is in fact the valve cover is leaking, in three months when we do our next oil change, we will go ahead and change the valve cover gaskets. And then with all the debris we get in the engine at that time, we'll be able to drain it and then roll synthetic, and then we should be fine after that. But for now, that's what we're rolling. So, uh... Catch you on the top side. Ooh, uh, okay, after an advanced auto parts run, decided it would be better just to replace the drain plug. So, got our new one. 16 millimeter, 15 foot pounds. No need to go any more than that and strip it like the last asshole did. 15 foot pounds, that's it. Alright, so we already got the filter on. That's done. Now we can just go up top and put our five quarts in. Manual calls for five. This oil filter is bigger, so it might take more we'll see okay so we got half the oil in and then we're going to put our AT205 reseal conditioner up in there now this won't help with valve cover gaskets leaking which I'm pretty sure is where the oil leaks are coming from in this but if it has any sort of o-ring leaks because remember this is the P71 so it does have o-rings in the oil coolers so if any of those are getting kind of dry and hard and leaking this will alleviate that will also alleviate any front or rear main seal leaks that we may or may not have. Bottom line is, it ain't gonna hurt it. So, put that in, and then we'll put the rest of our Super Tech high mileage 5W20 up in here. And again, I'm pretty sure this was the conventional, because this will do for now. We will put the, uh, full synthetic in it. Next oil change, the next oil change, we're probably going to be doing valve cover gaskets, but we'll have to pressure wash and degrease the engine and clean it, and then uh, we'll know for sure where our oil leaks are coming from. But I'm not going to cut the video out yet because we still need to start it, back it off the ramps, check the oil level again, and then we'll know if the P71s do take five quarts or not, or if they take more. I'm going to bank that it does take more because the filter was much bigger, Fram, that is, and the manual I have, I had to order from eBay, and I believe it's for a standard Crown Vic, not the P71, because it does have an oil cooler, so it does have extra little places for oil to go, so we'll cut back in a bit, and I'll let you know how much, how exactly how much you will need. Okay, so the engine's running. According to the gauge, we have oil pressure. Uh, unknown on PSIs, because it's not like the vet. So, I don't see any obvious leaks right here. Go underneath. I don't see any obvious leaks. There's a puddle under it over there. I don't know what that's from. But I don't think it's from hit from this. It's going to be from the oil. I didn't have the car back there. But there's no obvious leaks. The drain plug and the filter should be intact. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, now we'll shut it down, let the oil level settle, and then we'll check the level. We'll know how much we need to add, if any. Okay, and she's level. Let the engine run. Let it drain back down for about five minutes. Check the level, and uh, yeah, we're all good. Uh, it's in the cross hatch, but it's about a half quart low. It's halfway between the two dots. So five and a half quarts, you want to completely top it off, but at five, you'd be good to go for a while. Just know that, you know, if you leak oil or whatever, keep a spare quart. So when you get down to the, the bottom notch, you can add a quart. But all right, that's it. That's how you change the oil in the Vic. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.